The Berber village of Yefren is remote, dry and dusty. It was also one of the cradles of last year's Libyan uprising, claiming one of the first anti-regime demonstrations and several of the revolution's martyrs. One symbol of the Berber people's aspirations is their radio station, which was shuttered by the security forces of former dictator Muammar Gaddafi. Now it's open again with technicians in training for its first broadcasts in the Berber language, or what local people refer to as the Amazigh language. One of the founders of the Libyan Amazigh Youth Assembly, Said Henshir, says Berbers, like all Libyans, live in freedom now, but he says they also have some demands for the newly elected government. We want the full rights of a language and culture granted in the previously marginalized Amazigh areas, without any restrictions whatsoever. We want to be treated as 100% Libyans, not as a minority, not as if we were faking being Libyan. The Berbers are an ancient people who live across North Africa. Through the centuries, many of them have maintained their own language and identity while also becoming part of the largely Arab cultures of their home countries. Said Henshir says the Berbers don't want any special status in Libya, only the recognition that their bonds with other Libyans were sealed during the revolution. We are connected with the ties of blood and the blood that has been spilled. When Libyans were martyred during the February 17th revolution, Berber and non-Berber blood was mixed together. In the cave under a friend's traditional Berber house, Henshir shares tea and homemade bread. His host, Bilgasam Ali Mahdi, introduces himself in the Berber or Amazigh language. Mahdi opens his home to tourists interested in the local culture, something he says Gaddafi's police didn't like. This house was open, sort of, not officially, as there was always some kind of harassment from security units. Visiting tourists would be followed by officers or summoned for questioning, and their visits to this house and other Berber heritage sites were restricted. Today, the Berber flag and the Berber symbol depicting a free man are displayed alongside the Libyan flag in the village, with local residents openly and equally proud of both both their cultural heritage and their national identity. Al Pesin, VOA News, Yefren, Libya.